hello thank you for stopping by my youtube channel um today i want to talk about two things because my videos will be comprising of um two aspects health aspects the use of some spices plants and herbs to achieve an optimum health and also to cure and prevent some ailments and i'll also be talking about the use of some things for spirituality and the reason why they don't seem to work for some persons the way they work the way it works for other persons now to achieve an optimal health there is what we call detoxing the body detoxing the system to detox the body is very very important um imagine um, imagine infusing things into your body in, 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 in a system, in a body that has not been cleansed for a year, two years, five years or upward for months. There is power in detox. When you detox your system, your body often, you, you tend to remove um, toxins, you tend to remove um, mucus from the system. The accumulation of mucus in human body it uh, tends to bring about so many ailments, so many diseases. The human body is supposed to be alkaline to an extent. Now, the reason why some persons take some treatments and they keep complaining that they are not getting a positive result is when you don't detox your body and you keep taking some uh, medicine, herbs, or keep putting in some things in an undetoxified body you tend not to get the required result you tend not to get the the a good outcome at the end of the day but when it, your system is detoxified when your system is often clean whatever you take in as food or medicine we work better in a clean body in a clean system so I would want to encourage us to always detoxify our body. It's very, very important. You could, you could have a detoxifying system, a system whereby you detoxify once in a month, once in a week. You could use on fruits, you could use on herbs, but it's very necessary to detoxify our body. The second thing I want to talk about is reason why some spiritual works don't work for some persons now first and foremost some people some persons think um spiritual works is all about some financial breakthrough it, it, it's all about um, money accumulation of wealth and all that I emphasize on this spiritual world is not all about money now take for example you you're always sick and you feel this sickness is not just um, it's, it's not just a normal sickness and all that. When you take some spiritual cleansing, some spiritual work, little things you do, it 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 helps. It helps when when you cleanse your 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 your, your aura, your being, your spirituality. You tend to attract good luck. It's not all about money. Yes, money is involved. Money is involved, yes, but don't just focus on the money. On, on, don't just focus on the um, money aspect alone. Now, for example, if you are given a spiritual work that requires you to use um, honey, if the honey is not an original honey, it won't work. It won't work. At the end of the day, you, you, you end up achieving nothing and you blame the person that asked you to do that or um, wherever you got to find out about that unknown to you the honey is fake now if you're doing a spiritual work that requires you to use salt some persons go to um, the salt they have in the house for cooking they take out of it for spiritual um, for spiritual work spiritual baths or whatever no you are not supposed to use the salt you use in cooking. You should have a salt specifically for that. And I would advise either um, rock salt, 
uh, rock salt or sea salt. These salts are unrefined. They are in their natural forms. The salts we use in cooking, they are refined. They are processed to an extent. Then, for example, you were asked to use a sponge. To uh, use um, to use sponge, for um, this um, it should be this a uh, native sponge. You don't use your normal um, you don't use your normal net sponge or whatever sponge you use in having your normal bed at home for a spiritual work purpose. You get this uh, native sponge they sell them um, either five or fifteen era or there about, depending on the number of days you're going to use it. You get that sponge, and once you use one. You discard it. You don't reuse it. You discard it. You discard it. And another thing I want to talk about is people focus on the items, forgetting the creator of the item. You don't leave God out of it. No, you don't leave God out of your life. Never. Some persons believe uh, when you talk about spiritual things or spiritual work, you you are automatically talking about being um a, a non-believer in god or what no god created this stage for our own use it's just for you to have the knowledge it's just for you to know how to maximize them you don't leave the creator and accept the created item alone no you invite god you speak to god you invite god you 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 just have to invite God. God is everything. God is everything. Don't 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 put your your belief in the items. Put your belief in God. Believe in God that when you use these things for a good purpose, it will work for you. It will work for you. Now, the ultimate thing is belief. Whatever you find yourself doing, if you don't believe this thing is going to work for me, it will not work for you. It's not magic. It's not. It's it's not magic. It's it's not automatical. You you just have to believe. Have your your own conviction, your own faith, your own belief is also required in whatever spiritual um work you are doing, in whatever spiritual work you are doing. Like um, the human body need some detoxification that is how spiritually you need detoxification before you do some spirit uh, before you use some spiritual um, items to cleanse yourself you you need to always spiritually detoxify your system detoxify your yourself spiritually don't go about carrying lots of negativity and the next thing you feel or think about is um doing an, a spiritual or clean, a spiritual work no there are some little things you do each week like the coconut water cleanse the salt water cleanse honey cleanse um the orange peel cleanse and all that these are little things you do often these are little things you're supposed to do often to achieve a maximum result in whatever you want to do yeah these are some of the things I want to talk about before I drop more videos um, in terms of health and also spiritual cleanse and the use of other little things you can find in the kitchens, other little things you can buy um, not so ex expensive, you could use daily. Like I always say, God above everything. Without God, we are nothing. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification button to get notified whenever i drop a video like comment and please kindly share thank you